Hey guys, hey, hey, hey. Let's give it a minute or two for the people to come in. So how's your night going? Fucked up. Why was, well, anything you want to discuss on live? I don't really give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? People got to understand that niggas got lives outside of their lives. And you know what I'm saying? Niggas prioritize differently. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> Point blank. Somebody said. had expectations. Yeah. 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 Like niggas think niggas, I don't know. Sometimes you just gotta take a woo side, keep it moving. You feel me? When motherfuckers calling you, talk about, oh, don't bother calling me no more. You know what I mean? Then you know, fuck them. You know what I mean? It is what it is. Wait. I keep I keep, you know, I keep telling motherfuckers, man, and I'm dead ass serious. I'm dead ass serious. Like you're hi Keith. I'm dead ass fucking serious. Like my nigga, you got nigga, niggas don't understand, nigga. Like 2023, January 15th. Man, I ain't got it. I don't give a fuck about a lot of shit right now. You understand what I'm saying? So when motherfuckers call me, talk about don't bother calling them no more. Say fucking less, nigga. But what happened that, like that? Got them to the point where they feel like, oh, don't don't bother calling me no more. Like, did y'all beef? Did y'all argue? Did you forget something? Did nah, they forget something? What happened? Man, they 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 hit me up. It's like I don't know, two three weeks ago. They hit me up on some um, you know what I'm saying um. They they nephew had a cat that was going crazy in the house and shit. <laughs> so you and I told him, I told him, I said, yo, when you know when 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 old girl get home, you know what I mean, I'll um. I'll swing over there. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, things happen. I fell asleep. Whatever the fuck happened. You know what I mean? Then I get a fucking text on some old, yo, you know, you should have just been a man about it and said you wasn't going to go. Well, the nigga should have just been a man about it and got the fucking cat out the fucking house. Like, the fuck? Now you going to hold a whole fucking grudge with me? Like, niggas don't understand. Like, I really don't be giving a fuck right now. Niggas don't understand. So, when niggas tell me, you know what I'm saying, lose their number, say fucking less, nigga. That's one less person I got to text in the morning. You heard? And I don't text nobody as it is. I'm about to say, who you text in the morning? Nobody. Hey, Meek. Mm. Yeah, niggas, well. I don't. Listen, man, I keep telling motherfuckers, and I mean this shit. Yo, <laughs> on some real shit, I was not born like this. Every fucking day. You motherfuckers put more and more fuel into this fucking monster. And I'm comfortable with this nigga. I promise you I'm comfortable with him. I'm comfortable with him. That's th this alter ego I got. I'm comfortable with this nigga. So At now y'all mother is not an alter ego. This is you. <laughs> Man, listen, y'all fuel this motherfucker here. So when I tell you I don't give a fuck about a lot of shit, mm -hmm. man, please, I don't give a fuck about a lot of shit. Y'all keep fueling, y'all keep. Petting this puppy, keep on, keep on. Well, hopefully, you. it's something that you guys can recover from. I don't know if it's somebody significant in your fuck. life, important, whatever. If it's a big I relationship, I hope that you can remedy that as quickly as possible. Oh shit, we don't lie. But oh. anyway, <clears throat> what, what, what? No, nah, no, nah, I forgot the record button was on, man. Don't give a fuck. Nigga, this this Reese. I don't like. I'm telling y'all. Listen, let me let me let me send out a disclosure real quick. Like January fifteenth, twenty twenty three, changed a lot in my motherfucking life. A lot of shit changed in my circle. So when motherfuckers call me and say goofy shit or text me and say goofy shit, understand. I don't give a fuck right now. I don't give a fuck about a lot of shit. I'm not depressed. I'm not upset. I ain't trying to kill myself. I ain't trying to do none of that. I just prioritize shit different now. So I don't give a fuck about a lot of shit. And that's on God. That's on God right there. I'm telling you. Show that nigga hung on that cross. That's <laughs> not on that him. nigga hung on that cross referring to Jesus. Man, God made me, man. He know what he did. He mm. know what he did. He know he made the, the realest nigga out here on the, on the planet. But anyway, man, let's let's you know, let's let's get into some topics, man, so I can explode on those. 
Okay, we have um, three, well, maybe not quick, but three topics um, that I wanted us to dive into. And so, um, <laughs> Trinika said hard F. <laughs> so, um, I, give, I give negative zero fucks about a lot of shit. Anything mm -hmm. times zero it equals fucking zero. <laughs> I give negative zeros fucked right now. So go ahead. <laughs> there's this um woman who was just charged. Didn't we discuss this? Man, go about your business now. We discussed this. You 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 gotta I don't even understand how that man go ahead, man. You just anyway, no, because you need to listen. You don't know how to multitask. Man, go ahead, nigga. Go ahead now. Put the hand down and pay attention. I'm listening. Go ahead, nigga. What you want me to do? Go ahead. I'm about to cut this bitch off. Go ahead, nigga. You can't stop the live because I got my hand up. Well, you can't stop the live because you didn't take care of your things before the live. Man, go ahead, man. Listen. Go ahead you, now. I don't know who you was on that phone with, but it wasn't me. So don't get it twisted or confused. Man, okay? These niggas don't, these niggas okay. don't charge these batteries. I'm Listen, telling you, go ahead well, now. You better make sure the battery drain quick because you about to catch up that that ass can't. Let me, let me. I ain't worried about that. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so there's this lady that's um that got charged. So she left her 18 month old baby home for 10 days while she she went to puerto rico and then went to detroit with some nigga. i don't know is yeah it just says with a man with a a person that she's romantically involved with or whatever so she left a few bottles she left the baby inside the playpen right and she left a few bottles there and she dipped out so prior to this incident she had did this for two days before, like a week before the trip. So almost like she kind of tested it out to see like how it will work, whatever. Um, and so with this being the case, when she came back from her trip, her baby girl was deceased. And um, what she did was she changed the, the baby, changed her clothes, because of course she was soiled, full of urine, feces, you know, so she kind of, Got her changed up, called 911 crying and saved my baby. My baby um, needs help or whatever, whatever. The baby was long gone, um, not long gone, but days before she got there, the baby was gone. It was no reviving, um, reviving the baby. So in the her neighbors had a ring camera and the ring camera had picked up the baby. The first set of like, not just regular baby crying, but like, the screams because she was starving by day two already one at one o'clock in the morning day two heading into day three the baby was screaming 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 and then would scream every day you were here you know and i don't know why and it's neither here nor there i don't know why someone didn't send for a welfare check being that they heard the baby crying but maybe you know babies cry people you know they mind their business i don't know what's what with that but baby didn't make it so with that being said Obviously, we know 18 months is too young, but how young is too young to leave your child unattended and for the length of time? Let, let, man, let's get to the logistics of this shit, man. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this shit. First of all, you know, we already know 18 months ain't, ain't that fucking age to be leaving no fucking kid. Especially right. for no, I mean, like, 18 months, 10, 15 minutes, dip out to the gas station while they're taking a nap? Yeah. Absolutely not. You say, Absolutely. yeah? Absolutely not. Yeah. 18 Absolutely months? Absolutely not. Yeah. They sleeping? You want to dip Absolutely. out to the gas station across the street? Yeah. You can Absolutely do that. Absolutely not. No. All right. Well, like I said, just different of opinions. You know what I'm saying? But 18 months for hours and days? That's stupid. Niggas, man, y'all niggas got to start evaluating who you put your nut in these bitches is goofy as fuck mm -hmm. but to get to the proper age man 13 13 you gotta remember man you know i just found out it's gonna sound like i'm a dumb motherfucker but man i'm i'm i'm, I'm gen x 
You know what I'm saying? We were, you we just, doing, you just found I out. Just found that shit out. I just so found what? How was you talking junk about millennials and you don't even know where you came from? Oh, because y'all weak as fuck. I just know but, the niggas that's under me is weak as fuck. I know that. <laughs> I know that. That's all I know. I'm talking about. We was able. We 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 was able to go to school nine and ten with a key around our neck and let ourselves back in. And, and we knew not. So. We knew not to fucking touch nothing. We knew that. Right off the rip, we knew you ain't going outside till your mama got home. We knew that don't go outside okay. to the come back Same in. Same applies. Light. Same applies. You know what I'm saying? We we you know we we I just knew the motherfucker that was under us was weak as fuck. So we like, were weak, but weak, weak. But we, we weak. Have stronger brain power apparently. Yeah, right? yeah, you don't, you don't, we do. You don't. How old was the bitch we that do. left the kid at the at the joint? I'm pretty sure she in y'all generation. I'm pretty mm. sure. To be honest, pretty, to be yeah, honest, I, I, I didn't pay attention. I don't think she's a millennial. She might be. You, nah, she's y'all. She might be Gen she's, Z, but nah, she's in y'all. case you didn't she's know, y'all. that's the early 2000s. How old? How old? Yeah, she's Let y'all. Me go pull it. Yeah, that's not a millennial. Y'all. She's see. y'all. She's y'all all day. But we, we Gen Gen X would Gen X would have never did no goofy shit like that. We already know. We like our generation is. We just hard fucking core. You know what I'm saying? Like. Y'all need to be careful when y'all fucking with a Gen X because it might not turn out good for y'all, man. Because, you know, we used to drink out of water hoses in the yard. You know what I mean? we Oh, man. We had the best time of our lives. Yeah, let me cut this off. Because <laughs> you we don't listen. Best, yeah, because I'm grown. We had the best time of our lives. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. She kind of look a little old in the face. Nah, you man, fuck how the bitch look. How old? I'm trying is she? to see how old she is. I see it because if she uh, and, and she, that's gotta she be could, some. She could be. She could be a millennial. I don't know. Maybe she's I don't know. Let me see. Let me she's see. Y'all. She's Let me y'all. see. She might be. I don't know. She's, she's y'all. Just look a little. But I mean, it is what it is, man. But to get back to the initial question, oh yo, yeah, yeah, she's she's thirty two. Oh yeah. Oh god 32. yes. Oh god yes. Oh, mm-hmm. she, she, she's 32. She might have been in the crib so, next to you. <laughs> so she got charged with murder, obviously, right? So she was charged. Murder. Like this, this happened. The the actual situation happened last Feb uh last was that February or July? Let me see. Hold I'm about on. to say I heard Hold about on. this shit before, but that got to be well. Some see, good the thing is dick. her <laughs> that dick got to be boy, that got to be about eleven inches with some girth on it. Oh because wow. God in heaven knows, man. You man, shit. To leave him for a week, ten days. Oh, this was June sixth. This happened June last June. Um, ten days. What the? Ten fuck? days. So yeah. it says the child was extremely dehydrated and emaciated. Um, she was only weighing thirteen pounds, and that was seven pounds less than she was at her last doctor visit, which was less than two months before her death. Um, she had died of starvation and severe dehydration. And I mean, they said that like she was so emaciated that like her eyes were sunken into the cavity, like you know, Good everything just like completely. They said it was like one of the worst cases that they have seen in their careers. It was so you, bad. She had feces all over her in her mouth because she probably was eating it because she's starving, all right. in her nails, all everywhere, like just poor baby. And like the amount of pain and suffering that's that that baby went that is- through. That's recycling at its at its finest. Because just think about this: you ate food, right? She had a then bottle. You, that's not even food. She had liquid. Yeah, but that you baby ate food. starved to death. Then think about it this way: when your stomach, on. when your stomach is growling, right? Like you ate breakfast this morning, you ain't eat all day, right? You come home, you ready for dinner. Your stomach is touching your back, right? You smell the food. You it's like you you really got stomach pains. Imagine going seven plus days. Without having anything, anything, the the paint, like I just that's mm. that's recycling at its finest. You ate food, then you shit the food out, then you ate the shit and shit the shit out, and then ate the shit again to shit the shit out again. That's recycling at its finest. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking I'm not, about recycling I, with man, this listen, baby. Let me tell you mm-hmm. something on some real you. shit. The bitch needed to go to jail. You know what I'm saying? First of all, the bitch need some something wrong up here. Something um, well, see, the thing is, I 
felt Ooh, that way, but the when I found out that she did it before, like to me, and you tested it out like right before, that's premeditated to me. Like you was like, okay, let me let me try this out while I'm still here around. Like she just went for a little weekend getaway. Oh, okay, the baby's still here. She's still kicking. Okay, let me let me add. Let me do ten days. Let me just knock myself out. Like no. No, like, yes, there's still something wrong. But the fact that you were able to contemplate and kind of like map this out, you have enough That's sense. Mental. That's mental. I don't sense. know. Well, her parents, her parents um, oh, wanted them parents to have too. sympathy because uh, they feel too. like their daughter was suffering from um, postpartum okay. depression. And don't get but, me wrong. I suffer from postpartum depression. So I know. And I'm not saying my story is anybody else's story. We all have our own things. But I just feel like, I don't know. I don't know. What say Listen, he in the comments? On some real shit, fuck her parents. I mean that with the most disrespect I could possibly give them. You they ain't say, we're my grandbaby while you on this trip? If, yo, listen, this one I'm telling you, like, on some real shit, like, where the fuck was they when this bitch have, was even getting on the plane? Like, you ain't even bothered to inquire about the kid. Unless so the mom lied me. and said, oh, well, my wow. friend got her. Now, nah, fuck, fuck the parents. I'm telling you that right off the rip, cause ain't no way in fuck. I'd have been like, yo, cause I'm pretty sure she asked the parents to babysit, and I'm pretty sure the parents was like, nah, you know, typical, typical Negro shit. Nah, that's your kid. I done raised my kids already, and I ain't doing that shit no more. And well, this is the concept. I don't know. So she's Spanish, and the abuelos and abuelas, they be they be watching the uh, they be nah, watching them kids. Nah, them yeah. bitches ain't what they used to be. <laughs> you talk, them bitches ain't what they used to be. Don't keep you keep confusing them with the with, with the Gen X way lies and the motherfucking the ones no, before us. Y'all, y'all, the Gen X are the grandparents that don't don't want no, the grandkids. No, we don't. We that's not true. Yes, yeah, that's not true. The boomers that's are the, the ones that kept. That's the kids not true. And, and, to, and you get to leave the kids to tell with the grandparents. We tried to tell y'all from the beginning before y'all got out there fucking. We tried to tell y'all. Listen. Don't come home pregnant because I ain't watching no goddamn kid. No, that's not true. You because was asking me that, when I was going to bring a baby home. Hold on. Listen what I'm telling you. Just listen. All right? What we tried to do was give y'all a heads up that we spent most of our 20s raising y'all. And we wasn't trying to spend our 30s raising your goddamn kids. Dropping them all. Well, good thing you're in your 50s. So uh, you can shit, keep it, your grandkids. 50 to new 40, baby. <laughs> and the new sit down with these grandkids. Let me read these uh comments and see. So okay. Oh, <laughs> Tranika has said that poor Mike um have all that spit on it when you was going off. So she ain't yeah. paid for it. Tell shut <laughs> shut her ass up. She ain't paid for this deity. Keith said he can't fight, so don't worry. That's when I was getting on you or whatever. Let's see. But he already Hello. he already know I'm about that gunplay. I'm about that gunplay. He already knew that. Hello, true. Let's see. We got what's good, Bam and Zess. Um, some kids can't be left alone at 14. LOL. I definitely think that it depends on your child. Like, you know your child. Um, oh, because this like listen, even at 16, some of these kids don't even this generation here? This generation here? Oh, I'm not leaving these motherfuckers at home while they could go buy a pack of cigarettes. I ain't leaving <laughs> these niggas at home at all. At fucking all. <laughs> You <laughs> got to be bugging this generation. Oh no! Oh, what, what's this generation called? Gen Z. Yeah. What's this generation? Yeah, mm -hmm. I ain't leaving these motherfuckers with no. I'm not leaving them with themselves. They. I'm telling you, they hazardous <laughs> to themselves. I no. Try and a hey, hey hey. I got two of them, and I'm telling you, no, no. Yo, listen. Let me let me let me let me tell you something. Listen, <laughs> do you know that some of these motherfuckers don't know how to boil a hot dog? Who? The kids? That was the first thing you learned at like eight, seven. No, not now. Mm. Not now. These niggas, all they eat is flaming hot Cheetos. No, the Takis. No, nah, Takis is killing motherfuckers. Yeah, the Takis is. It's giving them stomach ulcers, but they eating them. They go upstairs in their room or wherever the hell their room is, and they on the video game all fucking day. All they eating is hot Cheetos 
<laughs> and the little the little 90 calorie Gatorades. And all they come down for to do is to re-up on snacks. They don't know how to do nothing. Nothing. Nah, they don't. And they beat they meet to sleep. They oh, don't wow. they don't know how to do nothing. Not listen. Hey, Gen X, I love you guys. You know, we come from a hard era, but let's do ourselves some favors. Invest, put more money in your IRAs, put more <laughs> you, money you in your four one case because you you're gonna need it. <laughs> listen, what I'm telling you, you're gonna need it. Do yourself a favor while you can still move around, build yourself a wheelchair ramp so that this way you have access to your home. Cause these motherfuckers ain't coming up there hitting you with the one one step at a time. They're not doing that. Do yourself a favor, prepare for doomsday. Cause these motherfuckers ain't shit. I'm telling you. But go ahead. I mean, listen, um, let's see. Um, it's supposed to be 13. Keith said, it's, what? What's supposed to be 13? That you're supposed to be able to leave your child at home alone at the age of 13. Well, certain states have different laws. I know it was legal for me at eight to be home by myself when I was growing up. I had my own house key, got off the bus, let myself in. I already knew. My mom told me, don't open my door. Good don't looking, answer Sean. my phone. Facts. Don't do none of that up until like, and she would test it because she would call. Don't let me answer that phone. Or she would like have somebody go knock on the door just to see. She didn't play like, nah, it was good. Yo, listen. I would wish. Listen, I'm a, I'm a, this is a true fucking story. I don't expect y'all to believe me. I just expect you to listen to me. I'm not going to tell you my aunt's name, but my aunt had I want to say four boys. And when I tell you, when she told them niggas don't open that door, they didn't open that door to the point where their grandmother came to the door knocking on it. And they did not answer that door. They let the nigga, they knew better. But this generation, oh, they they're not even the getting a house key because they can't they can't even be responsible to hold the key. The key gonna be lost every other day. The whole hood gonna have you access to your house. They opening the door for Amazon. <laughs> they opening the door. <laughs> you got my package? Yeah, Hancock. They opening the door for the pharmacy. I'm telling you. <laughs> And they on the porch in nineties. I'm t- <laughs> not that. No, so, no. Um, Keith says, "See y'all weak as hell." So I think he's talking about millennials. Um, and then yeah, we yeah, got yeah. my boy Big G. He said that baby died from willful ignorance. Uh, Jasmine, I think you're thinking of Gen Z. Yeah, yeah, that's the ones. Gen Z was the ones that was eating the Tide Pods and stuff. And then they. That's when. They had to start changing the labels on stuff, putting warning that says, do not eat. Don't put this do, in your mouth. This is not, this is not food. This is you, not, don't eat, don't eat the Tide Pods. You got to understand that in our era, my era, we didn't even have no fucking Tide Pods. Well, but we I mean, never went and got a glass of Tide either. We were like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> we automatically knew what a fucking hazardous sign meant. That little yellow triangle with the, with the, with mm-hmm. the cross. We knew what that meant. I don't get how the fuck kids is thinking fucking Tide Pods. It's fu- yes. I, I guess it's the color. I guess it's the color. But but then, okay, it's the color. So when you first put it, because as soon as it touches liquid, it starts to disintegrate, like the little outer layer, right? So once you taste it and it tastes like chemical, do you just keep going, oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and get another pod. That, was, that wasn't that let bad. Me, let, let me get a glass of Windex. <laughs> Let me clean my throat. Yeah, let me clean my throat. Nah, so, nigga, I, I'm, nah, we didn't do that. Uh, yeah, no. We yeah. didn't know, and we come from an era where we was able to sit in the in the front seat of a car, right, with no seat belts, and we had station wagons that the seat faced the back of the traffic, and we was giving people the middle finger of the truckers and shit. Do you remember going down the street? And you see a truck and you do this. Oh, well, yeah. I have my kids do yeah. that now. And they're like, yeah. honk, honk. Yep, yeah. My kids yeah. look forward to it. Yeah. Road trips. That stuff. was our era. Our era was like, this is Gen Z. <laughs> yeah. Gen Z. 
Lord. Yo, I'm telling you. I'm starting I'm to sound you. old though, because like I feel like attacking the generations is an old thing to do. But let me. <laughs> so we have um poor luxury life. I got two boys. I wish my baby mom would. And that's probably in relation to where you said. 18 months is okay to leave the baby in the house and go to the gas station across the street. That ain't happening. Like it's a split second. People is always watching, right? They watching. They know you got kids in there. They know you was the only one in there. They know whatever. They got all this stuff going on. You leave that baby in there. You go across the street, the house catch on fire because your neighbor did some dumb shit or whatever the case may be. You're mm -hmm. held negligent because now you got to try to fight your way in. I mean, you said you ain't dying for nobody. Me personally, I Not would have to fight my way in to go get my baby. Either we both going to be dead at the door or I'm going to be, we both going to be dead with me climbing the stairs, trying to get up there, but best believe I'm getting to my baby. That's but I'm you, not leaving right, my so kid to go across the street to no game. Ain't nothing in that me, gas station is worth jeopardizing my kid's true. safety. That's ain't not nothing true. in that ain't nothing in this world the worth jeopardizing slushies, my kid's safety. Period. The little slushies, the red, the red that's blue worth and, jeopardizing over. your kid's safety. Listen, that's what you're telling me right now. Hey, listen. listen oh wow. Just, listen what I'm telling you. You do understand. You're a different that, breeder, nigga, huh? You no, you do know that mothers and fathers do different shit. Like Fathers will do that. And that's why male death rates are higher because y'all no, do we dumb will, shit. We don't do dumb shit. Y'all do. Is, why do you we, think male, men insurance is higher? Because y'all don't we, even stop and think for a second and be like, hmm, maybe I should do it. Don't, that don't sound nah, safe. Nah, we, our insurance is higher because females can't fucking drive. What? What is that? Y'all can't fucking drive. What that's is why our, rate our insurance is higher. I'm talking about... Y'all fucking hit us and then you get, no, you get red in the nose and shit and then the police take your side of the shit <laughs> not knowing that this bitch bleeding, she emotionally fucked up and she crashing up everything because she don't want to leak on her seats. So yeah, that's why our shit is fucked up. Because right, but what about the life insurance and you dying because you out here doing reckless activities? We living life, baby. We taking chances. Now Fuck we living life and we taking chances. The same we life you was life. living, taking chances, running a red light or yeah. rolling through no, a stop sign. No. Y'all do that yeah. shit. Okay. Y'all do that shit. Listen. Anyway. Fathers, fathers will put their kid down. If they kid just went to sleep, I'm not running over to compare a gal. I'm not doing that. But I'm telling you, I'm if I gotta run to that gas station, I'm <laughs> Every day, man has yeah. when his wife is driving. <laughs> well, hold Fact. the freak on and you better have your seatbelt on because I might make a little turn that's gonna have you going like this. Yeah. Hold not on with me, to when, your diapers, baby. Not with me. I'm coming about that motherfucker. I, I've <laughs> you done can it get before. out if you want. Get I've done out. that shit. I've Catch done that Uber. shit. With, I see I've you done when I get that here. shit with my mother-in-law. She's driving crazy. <laughs> I waited until she got to a stop sign and I got out and said, You can't drive me like that. And I just walk the rest of the way home. Yeah, you ain't gonna drive me crazy. I promise you that. Because nine times out of ten, it's the damn driver that live and survive and the fucking <laughs> passenger dies. And the driver talk about, oh, well, they should have kept breathing. Fuck out of here. Nah. I'm good. So, um, hot dogs is a sandwich. Facts. Oodles and noodles. Facts. See, you know what? Oodles and noodles. Pork and Man. beans. Pork That's and childhood. Beans. Grilled cheese. Like, I feel like you should be able to make a grilled cheese at that age, too. But anyway. Uh, not these kids. I'm telling you, not these kids. Right. So we have... Um, that's insane. Someone can have kept the baby. No sitter, you can't go. Exactly. Like, I don't care. I'm going to have to lose. If I didn't put insurance on this trip, the trip is getting lost out on if I can't reschedule, postpone, or bring my baby with me. Her baby could have been a lap baby. They're not going to so charge her room and board on that trip. Let's play that. Wait advocate. a minute. And then the dude you with, not saying that he's supposed to sponsor your kid, but if you have no other outs, if he can't help cover child care for you or bring that baby, like what is you even laying down with him for? Let's play devil's advocate. Just for a second. So she's not the only one to blame here. Nah, the it's a lot of that, people. The people that she asked to babysit, they knew how stupid this bitch was. And then nah, I'm not going with yeah. that answer. I'm yeah. not. I, I'm not going when with that answer. Me. Nah. Listen, me, if you ask me, me to babysit your kid and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not available, and you go and do some wild stuff, you think I I'm partially liable? Nah. Yeah. You know that sounds crazy to me. They knew how stupid this bitch was. They knew. They knew she was stupid. You so you think somebody would know? Like, yeah, if I say no, she gonna leave that baby for ten days and go on that trip anyway. Man, let me tell you something, man. 
Pastor Eddie Long has said something during a service that I can't mention which one it was. And he had said, you know, where was you when this little boy had passed away? When you could have helped that parent. So, yeah, somebody else got to take some When you could have helped that parent, it's one thing that to, to help the parent. If the parent is in the house struggling because baby crying won't stop this, that, these and those, and you try to step in, hey, you, let's go outside and get some fresh air. Let's go for a walk. What can I no, do? Can I cook dinner? Not, can I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to just sign up to keep somebody kid for 10 days talking about some luscious help. You're going on vacation with a whole dude and then had, arrange child care for your child. If I would have had one doubt in my mind, just one, that that bitch would have left that kid. I would have watched them for the 10 days. What my what I'm saying but is look at the who price. is to know that somebody is going to be crazy enough to leave their toddler, you know one and you a half year old baby around. for 10 days. I know people. Yeah, okay. You know, you know the I know I'm saying you know the people that you're around. Like I know people that's around me and I know what they're capable of doing. And that's I'm not like saying, saying like this dude, like like you got a cousin or an uncle or friend, or whatever, like they a little crazy. And it's like, yeah, I mean, if they murder somebody, like I wouldn't be surprised, but I'll be surprised. Like, so what I'm supposed to now I'm responsible for the person that they murdered. Like, what are you talking about? Listen, somebody could have called them people parents and say, Yo, listen, watch that little girl because this bitch stupid enough to leave him by herself or herself. You know, the people you're around, you know what but, people are capable of. The thing is you. this. In order for the people to come out, something has have to happen first. They don't just, oh, hey, somebody think you might be crazy enough to do something, so we're going to open the case. That's not how it works. Something has to happen. The, something has to happen. Second, you think this the cra this the second craziest thing this bitch done did? This I mean, no. Been, I don't think, I think she's been, been doing crazy Jesus. shit all... She's been doing crazy shit all her life. <laughs> somebody All her life. To do some shit like this? You've been doing stupid and crazy shit all your life. And mm. somebody knew you capable of this dumb shit. One of your mm. friends was like, "What well, this bitch is capable of leaving this kid by itself. How many times you said to yourself, man, let me get up and do this shit for this boy hurt himself? <laughs> Too many times. Yeah. yeah. Stop jumping for you, you break your neck. Because you already know they capable. what they're capable. They'll keep doing it until they hurt themselves. Right. Listen, man, um, I, I ain't want to mm. stay on. What, what's our next topic? Wait, so uh, Keith button. said, wouldn't even open the door for grandma knowing she need to use the bathroom, LOL. Keith, Keith remember Keith, Keith, remember that. I'm telling you, mm -hmm. Keith, remember that shit. And her kids had got kudos. It was like, you did the right thing. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. They, they hey, hey, I, hey. Well, that's, it, I guess it is what it is. She's serving time. Um, and so... I mean, I feel sorry for the baby and empathy well, for that. But right now, with the information well, that I have, I can't feel too bad for the mom. Everybody that's in the chat, right? Drop drop the age that you think is appropriate. We already know Mika think is twelve, right? Drop the age that you think is that you think is appropriate. Everybody that's in the chat, you know what I mean? Just drop the age. You ain't got to say nothing else. Just put a number. And and can I, I I would like a an idea of what people are thinking. I mean, for me, I just think it depends on the child. I don't think it should be no. I mean, today, today, well, I'm I would about say maybe age, twelve. I'm talking about the age where you don't where you don't go to jail for the shit. That's what I'm talking about. Like if they do some fucked up. Well, shit, the thing no is, one. certain states eight years old is is okay, or some states they don't have an age limit. They say you know your child. If your child is responsible enough to be left home, now you can't leave them for you know hours and hours well, and hours or days and days and days. Like you can't do that. I get that, but but the the the, the ages that we're getting right now is between twelve and thirteen, mm -hmm. and that's because that's the age that normally your parent will leave you at home. Not for days, not for no, hours. No, just for just for like maybe just, two, two, maybe three hours to bridge the gap from yeah. school and work or something. Exactly. We got another thirteen. Depends on the child. Okay, so between twelve and thirteen. But let's just send and out our, would I say that too? If that child is twelve or thirteen, I don't think that they should also be responsible for watching a sibling that is not at least ten. And over, and even then, that's pushing it because the siblings would be feeling like oh, I don't got to listen to you. You know what I mean? Like they don't have the respect towards that sibling yet because they're still growing and testing authority or whatever. So, <clears throat> if that child is by themselves 
okay, but they shouldn't, there shouldn't be also a five year old there. There shouldn't also be a two year old. Like, you, there's too much going on. You can't make sound decisions and so react you, quick in an emergency. You, you, your generation is millennials, right? Correct. So, I'm going to tell you where the fault come in at because mm -hmm. our generation, we leave y'all and we tell y'all, don't touch nothing, don't do nothing, sit your monkey ass down mm -hmm. and watch this goddamn TV till I get home. And mm -hmm. if y'all didn't, we would fuck y'all up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For some reason or another, you guys seem to think that us fucking y'all up was too hard and y'all want to experiment and try something different like time out. <laughs> right? And that's creating a weak generation. That's creating a weak generation. It's now listen, if you got fucked up, if you got fucked up, I'm not talking about child abuse. I'm talking about discipline. If yeah, you got sometimes fucked I just up, took it too far. Nah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. That's let me tell you something without getting personal. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, you can I'm, we can get personal. Let's bring it in. Let's get it. Absolutely not. I'm <laughs> proud. I'm proud of the person that you've become. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. Because you got fucked up. <laughs> you got fucked up. So oh, I'm, proud, I'm proud of the person that you've become. Mm -hmm. Right? I'm proud of the way my kids have turned out. You know why? Because they got fucked up. Like, they know I didn't play them fucking bullshit and the games and shit. You know what I'm saying? The shit that y'all doing. Right? Mm -hmm. This bitch, that's, that's too much leisure. That's too much space. You know what I'm saying? Somebody should have fucked her up more. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because um, somebody should have fucked her up more than let her know, yo, listen, you know, shit like this ain't cool. You know what I'm saying? We fucked y'all up, but we knew the limit. Yeah, but y'all didn't, though. And that's why a lot of um, millennials don't talk to their parents now. Oh, that's okay. Or that's okay. I'm not, I, listen, took it too far. Y'all dragged I raised. It. I raised a fucking child or I raised children. Mm -hmm. I never I never signed up to raise y'all to be my fucking friend. I mm. never signed up for that. I raised you to be my fucking child until the day I stopped breathing. I never raised you to be That's my friend. True. You know That's what I'm true. saying? And and you know, despite what people think about me, and I'm talking about my children in, in, in particular, I'm proud of both of you. I'm proud of all of you. You know what I'm saying? The ones that's grown up. That's what I'm talking about. I'm mm -hmm. proud of both of you. I'm, I'm, you don't have to like the way I did shit, but it was done. Get over it. All right, moving along because you be, you, you be dragging time. it. So okay, there's this um thing that has been um it's like a, a newer trend a couple years ago and it's like hold picking on. up steam. Hold on, hold on, what, hold on. What, what, hold what, on. What, what? We got <laughs> ain't no way in fuck. We got 22 more minutes, and we ain't gonna talk about puffy shit. I don't even Did know you what you're talking about. You didn't know Puffy House got raided today. Oh no, nah, I didn't. I was working hard today. I didn't. I haven't what? even been on social media. I've been working hard. I've been working what? hard. Puffy House got raided. What they niggas is coming. Ooh, tell me niggas, is, niggas is coming out the woodwork on P Diddy. Mm. Yeah. He he must didn't pay his um Illuminati uh fees and fines and taxes. Listen, and one, nah, nah, nah. Some shit you can't do. The Illuminati can't excuse everything. And P everybody say Puffy like the party. Everybody yeah, say, say he man, likes Puffy the party. like the party. Cat Williams said, "Man, you got to tell Puffy no." No. <laughs> <laughs> this one, yeah, man. Puffy shit got raided today, man. So I mean, hey, listen. What did they think say? About... What they found? Tell me what happened. What they found? Nah, they didn't even say what they was looking for. They just went. And raided the nigga shit. They raided both his house. I want to say his house. And um, yeah, somebody in the chat, man, put put, put up with Jasmine, it. Jasmine, think... give me the scoop because I know you got yeah. the scoop, sis. I know you done seen that. Oh yeah, Puffy House got raided, man. And I'm like, oh shit, like that's crazy. I was at work too. <laughs> Your wife said never too far because you know y'all y'all be doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, first of all, okay. So that, did that house, really that house, lost. take that, take that, take that. <laughs> that's <laughs> That That's house a huge is huge house. What? Look, is that the garage? Is that the guest? Is that the pool house? What's going? He likes they the said party. Puffy like the party. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Puffy like the party. He hey, could put up a man. tent on that grass space back there and have a lot of more things. Like it's just yeah. Yo, That's a lot of raiding to do. Look at the motherfucking lawn in the picture. It's it's perfect in the picture. <laughs> yo, yo, listen, man, Diddy, man, I don't know what the fuck you done got yourself into, brother. But just do me a favor, man. 
Don't drag my boy Jay down with you. Guess what I'm saying? Take your you know shit what? like they shine, say. People shine don't become billionaires charge. with clean hands. I get that. Shine, t- hey Puffy, I want you to remember. Shine, shine took the charge, <laughs> and he ain't, he ain't drag you in shit. That nigga went to jail for a couple of years, came out, took your money, and went to his country and became ambassador. I right? <laughs> try the same thing, Puffy. It works. Everybody don't have to be young thug and gunner. Don't get to snitching, Puff. No matter what Jay did, leave him and be on say the fuck alone. Nah, it's, time, it's 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 definitely time to shake some stuff up because people no, be thinking that they no. above some stuff. No, yeah, you can't you do, take you niggas down crazy, with you. Be prepared to handle crazy. Sean, dra- pull up, pull up, Sean. Where where they saying Diddy over there talking, putting Puffy name and putting um Jay name in some shit because Jay done distanced himself from Sean done dis- distanced himself from Sean. <laughs> Yo, yo, but listen, I just wanted to touch on that real quick, man, because I'm telling you, the shit just happened today. Mm. Puffy gonna be next to R. Kelly. There gonna be some hot songs coming out of jail. Well, I mean, he likes to party, and he likes to party with the dudes, too, oh. so he he in for a big pot of dick soup in prison. Everybody that I, not, I, not that I know, I don't know nobody that know Puffy, but everybody <laughs> that's, <laughs> everybody that what? said they know Puffy, they said Puff like the party. Mm-hmm. 50 said Puff like the party. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, you got to tell Puff no, because Puff will party all night. You feel me? So, hey, listen, man, Diddy, man, you know, I just wanted to touch on your subject for a little while, man. Yo. Now, I know why is it that, that you wanted out. to touch on Diddy's, but you didn't want to uh, touch on TD Cakes? Yeah, that's an episode. Um, I know, but why? What's 11? the difference? You said we can't bring down a black man. Diddy is a black I'm man. Not, I'm not bringing him down. I'm saying did he you didn't even want to highlight right but you was like all of this is alleged he wasn't charged with nothing so the same applies for Diddy you didn't even want to discuss TD cakes going up no it's not it's not alleged it's not alleged they really raided the man no 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 I know but I'm saying we don't know what he's gonna be charged with you just said they don't even know what they was looking for I I don't know what they're looking for I had that same energy I just wanted to touch on it and say, if, Puff, if, man, if get TD your Cakes shit together, can go to man. Pound Town, then Diddy could go to Pound TD Town Cakes. too. I ain't talking about that no more. I'm, that was episode <laughs> see, 11. See? I'm over that. I'm over that. So, anyway, so that kind of brings us into the segment where um, people are going hiking naked, right? So, they have this group of men. Well, it, it could be any group, but this group in particular that had just uh, came across social media the other day. And so, naked? they go, they meet up at the, the hiking spot. They strip down. I'm talking. The only thing they got on is socks and shoes, right? Socks, sneakers, or socks and boots. I ain't getting everything no ticks on my dick. Everything. <laughs> no sir, it's hard enough getting the motherfuckers off your shoulder. I ain't getting no damn um tick off my dick. So and that's white people shit. Well, sure, these let were, me see. No, these are black people too, though. These Brothers are this, got this, the water. I... <laughs> nah. To pull up the screenshot. I didn't. So nah. like, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't already nah. have it ready because I didn't think you know you would want to see that. You probably would get upset well, that I'm no, showing them, you. Hold on, they brothers hiking. They, they brothers These, hiking with white people. They don't no, do that no, no, shit no. on their own. This is a group of black men. Brothers. <laughs> you about to make me hurt my child. <laughs> nah. Hiking. Nah. Pull it up. Pull it up. Brothers so, is out there hiking naked. <laughs> yo, bro, there's other ways to show people that you got yo, a tree, brother. You so ain't nah. Just, Brothers? just <laughs> with just the socks and shoes on. Now they do have groups where it's like men and women mixed, or just women, or just men, and then they Whoa. have it where it's like black love. So, or not? Let me not say black love. Like just black people embracing nature, or you know, just getting out being fresh hiking like this is just you know whatever and then they have it where they have you know white black asian whoever wants to sign up to do it and um oh, just hold go on, hiking hold on, naked hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on like hold on, butterball hold on. naked these hold on hold on cuz i i want to i want to clarify something before i even commit to continuing this conversation mhm ain't no females out there in this particular one, no. 
Yeah, I'm no not committed females. to this conversation. I ain't talk about a whole bunch of niggas walking around there with the meat hanging out. All right, so hood. okay, would you? How would you feel Man. if if it was with um the women? Oh, or a, a a group of men and women, male and female. Oh, then that's definitely nature's trail. Definitely nature's trail. Yeah, with women, but I ain't doing it with no other dude. I ain't doing that. With my wood hanging out. Nah, nah, that's goofy. Who does that? And you sure they was black? Yes, I know what melanated men look they like. Were, no, hold, 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 hold on, hold on. They mother was black and their father was black, or one of the parents was white. These was Negroes walking and hiking. Mandingos. <laughs> I'm telling you, the shit is hard to believe. If you pull it up, you, Sean. You do. Do you remember that TV show when they when they would give out a scenario and they would say what color were they? Were they white or were they black? Yeah, you would think white. This would yeah, definitely yeah. be some white people shit. Until you start talking about they hiking in Jordans, then you'd be like, yeah, them, them niggas. And they and they had on polo socks. <laughs> polo socks, not the socks. I mean, see. oh yeah, niggas don't wear champion socks no more. I don't know why they get into these designer socks, but yo, that's just just crazy, just crazy. Let hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see if I could, because I don't know what's going oh. on with our EP. These is, but these is these is definitely the bros. Oh no, nah, man. Oh no. Oh god, no. Oh God, no. Nah. These is these is like no, we see the image. Nah, nah. That's I'm not committing to talk about this, man. Look, so this this nigga ass cheek is 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 is, is ashy. <laughs> and he, he probably there. sat down on a rock. Nah, sat down. What the hell? Yeah, man, let's talk about something else. What's look, the, you see nah, this? Nah, nah. I'm you talking see? about something else, man. I'm, I'm over you that. You wanted to know if they were black. They black. It was hard look, to believe look, that they was all climbing brothers. Climbing up the rocks. They I bet you it. they slipped down forward. They gonna ooh, wish they never would. Ooh. I don't even want to know the pain that they yeah. were. Yeah, been it took some of the, some of that skin off that meat. Ain't no way <laughs> hell. <laughs> Yo, brothers, y'all gotta find other shit to get into, man. <laughs> You know, look, you well, know you know what? They hold did on, find on. something else because remember me, the password bros is getting unalive, so they found something safe to do. Let me say this. You know what, brothers? I commend y'all, and I'm gonna tell you why. That's some brand new shit. You know what I'm saying? And they chose to do something different, so I got to change your heart, brother. Yo, listen, man, y'all hike away, bro. Hike away. You know, just don't skin up your meat. You know what I'm saying? On them damn cliffs, you know what I mean. Know your limits, bro. But God damn, ain't no way in hell. All right, but do you think that it's all right if it's a if it's a, a cohort of men and women, male and female, regardless of race? I would prefer women. Anything. I'm not walking around with a bunch of niggas slinging wood. I'm not doing that. I but would you would prefer... be open to 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 do it. To... Yeah, let, let me. You were hiking, hiking a nude. Well, that's I'm I'm a grower, not a shower. You know I said you would you would be okay with hiking I, in the I'm not okay with showing my meat into I'm half staff. I ain't okay with it. <laughs> well, I'm if you seen right a now. bunch of females, you probably naturally just would be half oh, staff I, anyway. I, I, listen, let me tell you something. If I seen a bunch of females, I'm not gonna be able to hike anyway. I'm gonna be bumping into everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no way in hell. Nah, no sir. <laughs> nah, you crazy. <laughs> you gonna be accidentally bumping into people? Accidentally bumping into them until I nut up. The what? Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless I'm going hiking with somebody like Precious or somebody, <laughs> I'm damn sure hiking in front of that bitch. Because if I fall, I'm falling on something soft. <laughs> Yo, believe you're that. insane. You yeah, are believe insane. That. Yeah, yeah. I ain't hiking. Nah, but as far as me, I'm not <clears throat> comfortable getting undressed until I'm half that because then people be looking at me, be like, damn, nigga, that's what you you talked about. That I'm a girl, <laughs> not a show. Yes, you know I'm saying. I, um, so Jasmine <laughs> did come through, she said Miami and LA, and the kids was at the house in LA, I think. So I knew she was oh. gonna have the details. So that was Diddy. 
Diddy well, situ listen, situation. They, they also said Diddy was involved in some shit with Justin at some studio. Where Justin they say, Timberlake? Nah, his son name is Justin. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah, some yeah, studio, yeah, yeah, so I don't yeah. know. Maybe they're looking for something to do with that, man. But like I said, man, Diddy, man, you know, keep your head up, brother, but don't bring Sean down with you. <laughs> Everybody that got to go, got to go. And but brothers, anyway. don't go hiking naked. I, you know, I ain't going to front, though. I ain't going to front. I would love to go, like, in a jacuzzi or something like that. Everybody in there naked. Okay. You know I'm, I'm not. I ain't talking about sharing no meat or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But you know, okay. I wouldn't mind looking at a couple of other oysters. <laughs> so the the next thing I want to um talk about really briefly before we end it. Um, and if anybody have any topics that they want to talk, have us discuss on the next live, drop it in the comments now so that we have that there. Um, and then also we had a poll that says, would you hike naked? 57% said no. 42% says yes. I'm really Hold surprised. On. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I'm just shocked Hold that on. people are I'm going to tell you something. Yeah. I'm going to tell you something. It's funny and it's ironic that, you know what I'm saying, this topic came up because I had a friend of mine, mm -hmm. right? Him and his wife went to this place called Something Castle mm -hmm. and everybody in there was naked. Everybody in there was naked. In there. You know so is it like one of those swinging spots? No, it wasn't no swinging. It wasn't no swinging. So, but you get so, to watch? This is what he explained to me. I wish she would, she would get in. But what he explained to me was the minute you walk in, mm -hmm. right? You got to, you got to, you got to get rid of all your clothes. Mm -hmm. You got to be completely naked. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you walk around the compound. Naked, okay. you know what I'm saying? But he said that, um, like one of the pools or the jacuzzis or something was outside, and it was like 20 degrees outside, but we're in that water. He said it was a really good experience. So, you is this for couples, singles, both? Like, it doesn't matter, you could just go anybody. Well, put yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think he went on a couples because if it was single, <laughs> I'd been there for that. But he went, he took his wife. Like, drop in the comment. you get another lump on the top of your head tonight from your wife, but continue. I'm not worried about that. Drop in the comment the name of that place. Cause I'm telling you, they, they said it was a really nice experience that you was on, um, that you, that you ass bone naked in there mm -hmm. and everything is swinging. Mm -hmm. Everything. So, I mean, um, I went to a spa, a nude spa, um, and I've been a couple of times now, but. The first time that I went, I didn't know that it was a nude spa. So they have it. They have a male side, female side, and then a co-ed side, right? So you're nude on each respective sides. And they give you, like, a uniform to put on or whatever. So I'm going inside. And I have the uniform, whatever. They have you take your shoes off. You lock it. They give you locker key, whatever, whatever. So I walk in, and I see, like, half people naked and half people in the uniform. So I'm like... Okay, like I didn't realize I thought not being funny. I thought just white people really was like really naked like that in the locker room. But it was it was all mixed races naked. And I was like, oh, okay, some people probably maybe they're getting in the shower. I don't know, trying to like make sense of it. So then I put my I already had my uh bathing suit on under, so I take my clothes off and stuff, put it in the locker. I put the uniform in the locker because you know, whatever. So I'm getting ready to go get in the jacuzzi. They was like, um, excuse me, miss, if you're gonna use the facilities over here, you you have to be naked. I was like, okay. like naked. She was like, yeah. So you have to shower. And then mind you, the showers, how they are, everybody can see. Like, it's not like a private. We got the curtain. No, you shower in which the hand and soap. That's what he was in front me. of the people. Then you get to use the hot tub sauna, um, you know, the ice bath, the steam room, the heat lamp thingy. Then they do body scrubs and all kind of stuff. But you're completely nude and all of the women are there. And then I'm assuming on the men's side is exactly the same. And then when you want to go to the co-ed side where they have like relaxation rooms or whatever, you put the uniform on and you go in there and you lay and relax oh, or whatever, a, that's whatever. That's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. <laughs> I'm around a bunch of niggas seeing hood all day, but then when you get me with the heifers, I got to put... <laughs> hey, um, that person that's in the chat... Oh, Spy you, Castle. Yeah, why don't you okay. come on and explain the spot? Because 
they said it was a really good spot, a really, really good spot to go to. Right. The, any any spa that I go to, mm -hmm. oh, Ling Ling is involved. <laughs> oh, yeah. Lil Ling Ling. Yeah. So when they, um, when they say uh, anything else I could do for you, what you else you got to Smile with the happy ending. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So um, Nail stage Jasmine up. said it has to be for social media. This can't be real. So I don't think she believe in the black people hiking naked, the black men hiking naked either. Mm -hmm. Um, she yeah, said, it's, I, uh, "What? It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm all for it if that's what they choose to do." See, but, look, see, Tranika said it's Spy Castle and it's only in the locker room. That's not what. That's not what her husband told me. <laughs> so let's say, okay, Nika, I see you. Hey, listen, listen. but my, listen, I'm telling you, me personally, I'd give that a shot. But I want to be naked all all through the um the vicinity. I'm sure they have somewhere for it all through the city. I'm sure oh. they have um somewhere right. for Go it. Ahead now. And um, <laughs> you know, yeah. All right, so listen, I I, I we're gonna say we're gonna save save this the, the next topic for another time. But uh, go ahead. Obviously, and I think we ran my boy TJ off. I, I we no, didn't. We we or I you? ran them all. Oh, okay. I think I done ran my boy TJ off, man, because uh, <sighs> but he just leaves himself so open. <laughs> I love you, TJ, man. If I offended you, you're a big boy. Get over it. Get your ass. Why back do on you this gotta line. keep being disrespectful like that? TJ is my guy. He's my guy. Tell Listen. Me. Let's oh, see. I'll dude. go hiking naked with you. Does I ain't going hiking naked, so that ain't gonna happen. Uh, Marie, stop, please. I'm about to throw up. <laughs> Listen. First of all, I got a pretty nice body. I got that. I got a dad bod going on right now. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not ashamed of my shit. I earned this shit. I ate everything I wanted to Tranika fucking. Tranika said it won't let her join. Who won't let her join? She lying. She lying. She done <laughs> did it before. She just lying. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, we okay. don't have time for another topic. Mm -mm, you know what I'm saying? No, it's, I got, um, I got, I got, this is a busy, long week. Um, yeah, I we, gotta bring we ain't got time for to another the school topic. for my boy birthday before cupcakes. they go on spring break. Yeah, because they on spring break next week. <clears throat> so I have to bring the cupcakes this week to celebrate him in his classroom. Yo, let me tell you something. I drive a bus for a living. And do you know in Stanford, they got the high schools got this thing called open campus where the kids don't have to attend the class. Yeah, you were saying that. As long as they're passing, they don't have to attend. I'm telling y'all, man, I really wish my boy Keenan would get on and tell y'all how to invest in the IRAs and the 401ks and give y'all financial advice. Because with this generation, I'm telling you, we in trouble. We in but fucking trouble. But if they passing. No. It, how I'm only saying that I feel like that should only apply to seniors, right? If you're a senior, you're already taking limited classes anyway, right? Because you done banged out the rest of the stuff early on. So, like, for me, I had a job after school. So, if I was able to get more hours in, but also still maintain my grades, I don't see what the big deal is if I'm getting ready to oh, graduate anyway. I see the big deal. I see the big deal. It don't take much to pass. It don't take much to pass these classes because remember, 2023, they they start to dumb down the classes because the kids wasn't they wasn't passing the SAT test, the standard aptitude test. They wasn't passing it. So you know they, they made the test easier instead of getting the children they, help to meet dump, the needs. They, like anybody just, that's anybody that's in this chat that know what I'm talking about. Just give a thumbs up or a thumbs down if I'm lying. They dumb the test down so that these kids could that these kids could um pass these tests. I'm telling, and That's I know insane. this. I know this because I got. Remember, in my household, I got the second smartest kid in Connecticut. Remember that. Shout out to him. They go. Hey, yo, listen. Before I go, man, <clears throat> I just want to say something, man. You know. No, I'm dead ass. This is now, serious. I'm just saying because you started off saying something. Now you yeah. got something else to say. No, you you smiling now, shit. so you seem like you're no, in a better mood. No, no, this some serious shit. And I want you guys to understand, man, that um, 
I always tell y'all when we get on front of these cameras, you never know what's going on in our lives outside of these cameras. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, my wife and I, unfortunately, yesterday lost a very good friend of ours, Mary. You know what I mean? And, Sorry and, you for know, your loss. Yeah, yo, listen, that's that's a hard one for us. You know what I mean? And, you know, behind these cameras, yo, people going through real life shit. You know what I mean? In front of these cameras, we smile and we say we okay and everything, man. But, you know, shout out to Mary's family. And, um, you know, like I said, man, you know, this this is really taking me and my wife, you know, by storm. Because, you know, we, we was there for her throughout her whole sickness. You know what I mean? So, you know, we put on a smile for you guys tonight. But um, you guys yesterday we was hurt. Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You sure? But we, yeah, nah. This one take. You know, in every, in every, um, I think every relationship, you know, what I mean, everything that you know people do. I think you gotta have white friends. You gotta have some Spanish friends. You gotta have some color friends. And you know, my wife and I actually enjoy, you know, chilling with our Caucasian friends because we get to experience different shit. You know what I'm saying? And you know, this wasn't the lottery ticket, lady. No, don't oh. do that. Oh, I'm, but it's, she, I'm not putting she's that in, on no. No, she's in that crew. She's in that crew. Oh. She's in that crew with me, Patty, Chris, you know, Brian, Josh, you know, Kathy, Eileen. You know, if I'm forgetting anybody, get over it. But um, but um, yeah, you know, this this is really hitting our group hard, man. So you know, rest in heaven, you know, Mary. You know, what I'm saying, and you know, you're gonna always be remembered. R. I. P. Mary. Know what I mean. And if you know, if a family's listening, if y'all need anything with the exception of money, feel free to give me a call. So, all right, well, we'll end it on that note then. Yeah, 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 man. But um, like I told y'all, man, people go through real life shit behind these cameras, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So next Monday, I'm gonna be dog tired. So give me some grace. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna show up, but it's I'm gonna be dog tired. Oh, like, then dog tired. say less. Next no, no, Monday, no, no. Showing- I'm no. gonna lead. I mean, you should be trying to show up anyway. So that means, are you going to research these topics and stuff too? Say less. Next week, I'm nah, coming up with the topics. We gotta, so then we got to have the business meeting on Saturday to clear it first because nah, you're too nah. reckless. You cannot go rogue. That's absolutely why, not going to happen. Why, why are mm-hmm. you treating me like that guy on Boomerang that made the commercial? I'm like, <laughs> why are you treating me like him? Like, nah, Listen, like no market. Mm-mm. You got to watch no, it. We gotta, yeah, nah. we do got to watch you for sure, for sure. Nah. A thousand percent. Next week, I'm coming up with the topics. You know what I'm saying? Anybody <laughs> that want to. We're going to have to have a, a, a meeting and we're going to have to clear the topics. We're going to have to have a vote on the topics. Anybody that want to have a topic. Please save, up, save us, please. Up. Please, because up. if we leave it in his hands, hit Lord knows up. we're going to get the page shut down. We got to keep it. Text me. Email me. You got a no, topic. Put it, in it, put, it, put it in the don't chat. Give don't a, give it to him because then he'll lie and say so-and-so said they wanted to talk about this. If it don't come through about. email or this chat, we I can't accept that it came to y'all because he'll I, I will, try to squeeze I, one in right and say now. that it was y'all knowing that I want to respect not, y'all, y'all, y'all voices. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm telling y'all right now, Whatever y'all tell me y'all want to talk about next week, I don't give a fuck if you want to talk about two roaches farting on the turtle's back. That's what the fuck we're going to talk about. So anyway, <laughs> please don't send this to him directly. Y'all can either email it or y'all can put it in this chat here because you are insane and we, I'm yeah, telling you, yeah. whatever y'all want to talk about, text me. I'm telling you. But the only thing I want to kind of like vary away from is relationship shit. I want to kind of move away from that, and I want to talk about some other shit. I mean, that's we what we did this whole this whole yeah. live tonight. We didn't um divvy into uh, so already. So we unless already you're looking know. for relationship advice and you want our opinion, we could definitely tap into that, like how we did uh oh. the uh TJ after hours. The best way to get over somebody is to get it's under, under them. <laughs> you better believe, get under somebody new. Side pieces is a must. Yeah. Take that, take that, take that. So we also got a, I agree, we're doomed. They don't even like to work. So um, <laughs> she talked about those, those IRA. I think the comments are coming in delayed, but I think she Hold talk- on. Hold on. This is the last thing I'm going to say before I bounce. 
The kid went, one of, one of these motherfuckers, Gen Z, went into a Dunkin' Donuts, right? Mm -hmm. And ordered, hold on, ordered some donuts, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the dude put six donuts in the bag. Mm -hmm. The Gen Z said to the, to the, to the clerk, mm -hmm. said, you charged me, you didn't charge me for a half a dozen of donuts. You understand what I'm saying? So he had six donuts. He didn't know that six was a half. Is half Wait, of a said, dozen. He said you charged me for a half dozen, and he this is not you, a half dozen. That's what he said. This is not a half dozen donuts. You didn't charge me. You charged me for a half a dozen. Uh, wow. This generation is is whack. I'm wow. telling you. It's but see, whack. and they got it easy because all they, I mean, they should be trying to think for themselves. But okay, we passed that. All they got to do is be like, "Hey Siri, what's what's a half a dozen?" And she'll be like, six. That's the problem. That's the problem. The problem is when we wanted to find out if you liked me, we didn't text you. <laughs> we wrote on the you paper. Wrote the let, do you like said, me or you want to be my girlfriend? Yes, no, or maybe. Yes or no. <laughs> circle yes or circle no. We folded it up. And pass it to the friend, to pass it to the friend, to pass yeah. it to the friend. And the teacher caught their hand on it. They would like, yeah. bring that up here. And, <laughs> and then they read they, it in front of the class. Then they read it from the class. Well, he want to know if you like him. Circle yes and circle no. Oh we, my listen, God. man. Things yeah. were so much easier when we were growing up. But listen, that's our show. <laughs> Right? Oh, wait, this wait, wait. We got one. Next topic, filing taxes. Should you do joint when the other has, when the other half is on child support? Ooh, that's a good one, but that's we're gonna, we not, we're that's not gonna, so we're not gonna focus on the child support. We know how triggered um, BM gets. We're not oh, focusing on, on child support. We I'm are, we could just, we could just talk about filing the taxes. Filing the taxes, because he, right. yeah. yeah, we gotta keep him yeah. sane and stable, okay? Yeah. So, um, again, don't forget to yeah, there like. you go, Sean. <laughs> Back in the nineties, yeah, that's how we got to know if you liked us or not. Maybe. Listen, you want to go? It was out really embarrassing me? when the um teacher read it out loud, though. And 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 remember, we used to say, "Uh, do you want to go with me?" <laughs> right. <laughs> you want to go out with me? You want like, to go with me? <laughs> Where we going, nigga? <laughs> But and listen, then when you say yeah, nothing changes, but y'all holding hands. But anyway, yeah, it was facts. cute stuff back then. Cute stuff. Now you tell a nigga no, he un he un he unalive. He blocking you. you. He <laughs> or he might yeah, he might wipe you out. He unalive you. Yeah, yeah. Send it, look, a nigga do sending that? your nudes to the whole school. Facts, facts. So listen, mm -mm. that's our show. <laughs> I'm your boy right. Bamboo. This your girl Tess. Thank you it's for always being a pleasure. here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Subscribe, yeah, I mean, subscribe, and we're gonna be subscribe. on next Monday at the same time, nine o'clock, talking about whatever you would like to talk about. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs>